Hello friends! On my channel there are some reviews of multimeters, oscilloscopes, but this review will be dedicated to a more simple device. But it's not only VA meter like this device, which is very popular. Well, this is a VAW meter. And it's adjustable from the front side. Naturally, it comes with the cables and it can measure maximum 100 volts and 10 amps. Let's connect the device to the power supply and check its accuracy and possibilities. Everything is connected. First, let's check the voltage range. So the minimum voltage at which it can operate normally is 7 volts. Anyway, flickering can be noticed. So at 8 volts the device operates much better. 8.2, 8.3. The difference is anyway 0.1 volts, 0.1 volts, 0.2 volts. So the maximum we can get from this device is 30.1, 30.6, 30.7. Thirty point four. Let's decrease the voltage and adjust the accuracy. Twelve point zero, twelve point one. Twelve point zero, twelve point zero. So now the voltmeter is more or less precise. Let's check the amps. Because of eight volt car bulb, let's adjust the voltage to the eight volts. Or the accuracy of the third indication. Here we have 20.2, here we have 18.9. So approximately 1 watt, a bit more than 1 watt. Let's increase the load. Here we have 26.6 .6, and here we have 24.7. So the difference is 2 watts. It's maybe because of lack of operating voltage. Because here we have 6.9 and here 6.6. .6. Let's increase it. Seven point one, seven point zero, seven, three point eighty two. Anyway, 26.7, 24.7. But in order to check the accuracy in total, let's check the current with another device. 3.8, 3.7. Let's also adjust it. Three point eight three, three point eight four. The DC DC converter becomes hot 
because it operates without any cooling solution. So finally let's check the real wattage. Twenty-five and three, twenty-seven and three. Now about the conclusions regarding this device. As to the advantages, well, the device is pretty small. Eight centimeters, about four point five centimeters. It's lightweight, but in case you install this device in your power supply, it makes no difference. Both volt and amp meters are adjustable, but in case of this device you should disassemble your power supply. In case of this device you simply have no need of it. Unfortunately I have no DC-DC converter in order to get 100 volts and show you that the device can measure 100 volts. The main and I would say the only disadvantage of this device is its accuracy in watts. However, there are lots of cases when you need to know the approximate value of power consumption of the devices. So this VAW meter can be pretty well applicable exactly for such cases. If you have questions, please write them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Wish you good luck.